The video provides a quick overview of a highly significant aspect of power devices, namely RDS on. This is the value of the electrical resistance between the drain and source terminals of a MOSFET when a specific voltage is applied between the gate and source terminals BGS, to turn the device on. The test device we are constructing consists of two uh, power MOSFETs driving two power lamps. The circuit consumes uh, a significant amount of current, so appropriate heat sinks uh, are necessary. In this case, simple aluminum sheets are used as uh, heat sinks. The button on the board supplies power to the MOSFET gate, which allows current to flow through the lamps via the drain terminals. A powerful 12 volt power source with a minimum current capacity of 15 amps is required for the circuit to function, as each lamp draws 4 amps and dissipates about 50 watts. The circuit schematic shows two lamps under power MOSFET control with a switch. A rather strong battery provides the power supply. The switch provides voltage to the MOSFET gates, so enabling the whole system to be turned on or off. The load of the circuit consists in two power lamps. Two MOSFETs manage the operation of the lamps. Connected to the MOSFET gate, a pull-down resistor keeps them off when no signal is supplied, therefore preventing undesired activation. The MOSFET gates close, when a sufficient signal is delivered to let current run through the lights and light them. It should be noted that the first MOSFET on the left is silicon based, while the second MOSFET on the right is silicon carbide based. The circuit aims to compare the performance and efficiency of the two devices. The first quick test to perform is to observe a significant drop in battery voltage. This occurs because every battery has internal resistance and when a high load is applied, the current increases, reducing the available voltage at uh, the battery terminals. For this reason, it is always recommended to use a higher capacity battery. Another straightforward test involves measuring the temperature dissipated by the two MOSFETs. For this measurement, uh, one side of the heat sinks was painted black to allow a thermal gun to work effectively. After a few minutes of operation, it can be observed that the heat sink for the silicon MOSFET is hotter than that of the Sykesy MOSFET. This indicates greater efficiency of the latter. Let us now figure each MOSFET's RDS uh, on value. This value, as was before noted, shows the ohmic resistance of the drain source channel on device running mode. This value has to be as low as feasible to reduce heat-related power dissipation. The RDS on value must be computed. It cannot be measured straight with a multimeter. Dividing the voltage across the drain and source terminals by the current passing through the drain source channel suffices to ascertain it. Either dividing the voltage across a shunt resistor by its resistance value or an ammeter connected in series to the circuit, so will help one find this current. We will uh, follow the latter approach. A low value power resistor is required, in this case one with a nominal value of 0.12 ohms, its resistance cannot be measured with a standard tester, but requires a bridge milliometer. Using this instrument, we measure the resistor's value, confirming it to be 113 milliohms or 0.113 ohms. The shunt resistor is connected in series with the power supply, 
and the multimeter set to voltage mode is connected across its terminals. First, disconnect the lamp associated with the silicon carbide or SIC MOSFET and leave the one connected to the silicon MOSFET. When the circuit is powered on, the voltage across the shunt resistor is measured at 415 millivolts. Next, reconnect the second lamp while disconnecting the first and repeat the measurement. This time, a voltage of about 428 millivolts is read across the shunt resistor. These two readings are sufficient to calculate the current flowing through both the silicon and silicon carbide MOSFETs. Now, we measure the VDS voltage of each MOS FET during conduction. First, the measurement is taken on the silicon MOSFET drain, where a voltage of 0.655 volts uh, is recorded. Next, the measurement is taken on the SICM OS FET drain, where a voltage of only 0.08 volts is recorded. With these values, we are ready to calculate the Ardeson for each device. Ohm's law allows one to determine the current passing across the shunt resistor, and so the drain source channel, by knowing their exact values. Once more applying Ohm's law, the RDS on value can be found by measuring the voltage across the drain source channel. Though the two devices differ in only a few tenths of an Ohm, this is vital in power applications aiming at the maximum system efficiency.